Access to clean water plays an integral part in our daily lives. We require clean water for public health, for use in our homes, for cooking and cleaning. We require clean water for food production and sanitation. So how does APUA get water from here to your home? In the early 1970s, the government of Antigua and Barbuda established the Antigua Public Utilities Authority under the Public Utilities Act with a mission to provide reliable and affordable utility services all at international standards. The authority was established in 1973, 49 years ago, to ensure that the government would be able to provide utility services to the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Electricity, water, and telephones. Necessary for life is the theme that describes the responsibilities of APUA Best as they provide utilities that a modern society depends on to function. In this series, we will focus on water, where it comes from, and all that is required in supplying our population with enough to meet our requirements. APUA normally accesses three sources of water. Uh, there's groundwater, there's surface water, and there's desalinated water. At present, our main production comes from the sea via reverse osmosis plant, the desalination process. And this generates approximately 90% of our total production. The other 10% comes from groundwater. At the moment, there is no surface water in our reservoirs that is worthwhile treating. Because of the characteristics of well water, we, you would find that well water is not as turbid or as cloudy as the surface water. So well water doesn't really need a lot of treatment. What we do at this plant is basically chlorinate the well water before distribution. So this is just the eight to four for today. And today we start to see the difference in the terms of how the pump works. There's a 24 inch line that plays out in the sea. And at the end of this 24 inch line, there's a riser, and at the top of the riser, you have a strainer. This strainer prohibits living organisms from entering the line. This water is then filtered by the multimedia filters. We catch the water inside our clear well. We pump this water to our consumers. Water harvesting is only the first step. The water quality has to be monitored and maintained along the route to ensure its safety. We collect water at the treatment plants, we collect water at the standpipes, and we collect water at the wells. When we do collect that water, then we're required to test for certain parameters to ensure that the water meets particular quality. Some of the things that we test for, we look, for example, the chlorine level of the water, we look at the pH of the water, we look at turbidity, temperature, color, and several other parameters that we would look at to ensure that the water would be potable. At the plant, we have to disinfect the water just before we send it to the customers. A WH or standard where a certain amount of um, chlorine residual is left in the water. By the time the water with the furthest end, it's supposed to still have a trace of 0.2. The water distribution system in Antigua and Barbuda runs for miles. And along with quality, water pressure also has to be maintained. If this system is a very long system, then we can chlorinate again 
at another point between the source and the end point. Because by that time, maybe the chlorine itself would be actually depleted to a, a, low, a low standard that you have to upgrade it again. So we have boosted station at different points in the system where we boost it again. The final step is you, the customer. How do you access the water that flows around the island? So when the water leaves the, the source, it comes to the booster station which picks up the volume, turns it to pressure and volume. Then after it goes into the system, then we have tap off, like service lines that goes to the meter. And then from that, the customer hook up to the meter, to their property. It is a difficult and exhaustive exercise faced by APUA in bringing water to our homes and businesses, especially with dwindling resources. What you can do to assist is conserve water as much as possible, so their efforts don't just go down the drain. There is an old saying, it takes a village to raise a child. And similarly, it takes the synergy of numerous resources, including capital and most importantly, knowledgeable and dedicated staff working around the clock to get it from here to your home.